What's more important for the soundscape of your video? Is it music or is it sound design or maybe both? Well, let's put on our headphones and find out. All right, I recently made this edit and let me just turn off the grade so it doesn't chug. By the way, you should probably start by viewing the whole video and of course listening to it. The link is in the corner here and it's just a minute long. Don't worry, I'll be right here, not going anywhere. For starters, let's just listen to the music and see how it drives the edit. And uh, let's listen to another spot. Okay, so as you can hear, the music really sets the mood for the whole thing. It provides structure, it provides tempo, it provides dynamism. The track also has high dynamic range, which means it goes from very loud to very quiet and back. And because of everything I just mentioned, I want the music to be loud, I want to be prominent. But I also want a rich soundscape, where actions on screen are accompanied with a relevant sound effect. So now let's listen to the sound design only. I'm gonna mute this track and let's have a listen. Okay, so in the first part I really want to immerse the viewer in this wild landscape. But that's just an intro. The video is really about a chef and that's where a sound design really kicks in. Let's have a listen. So for this kind of scene, music is super important, but the sound effects are also crucial. Both play a valuable role, but if we listen to both of them simultaneously, you'll clearly hear there's a problem. Let's unmute this track. Let's start here. Okay, it's not terrible, but some of the quieter sound effects are really lost. And also keep in mind that you can much better separate different sounds while wearing headphones or on a good pair of studio monitors, but when your video will be viewed on a laptop and heard through laptop speakers or some kind of crappy earbuds, the whole thing starts to mush together and it becomes really hard to separate sound effects from music. But even right now, in good pair of headphones, I still want the sound effects to pop more. And it must pop, pop, pop! But just making them louder or making music quieter doesn't do the trick. It sort of shifts focus from one thing to another, but it doesn't really separate them, which is what I want. Okay guys, so by now you're probably like, get to the point! Get to the chopper! Let's move to Firelight page. Okay, let's look at the tracks. Tracks two through six are occupied with sound effects. So let's go to track two and here in bus sense, press plus and select sidechain. And if sidechain is not here, you just need to go in dynamics and press send here. So this sends this track's audio into a sidechain. Sidechain is a type of bus, which is a concept used to describe routing audio. And let's do the same thing for all other sound effect tracks. Second, third, fourth, and fifth. Okay, so now we have a bus that receives combined signal of all sound effects. And now we're going to use that signal information to compress the music track. <laughs> and for that let's select the music track and go into dynamics. And here we need to select listen. Nothing happens. Well, that's because we didn't turn on the compressor. Let's do that now. So compressor is a function that attenuates or pushes down the signal that gets above a certain threshold. And that's exactly what this first knob controls. Let's just leave it where it is for now. And ratio controls the amount of signal attenuation. So a ratio of 2 to 1 means everything that gets above 15 dB is negative gets cut in half. 
and knee makes your threshold less abrupt. It makes the compression more smooth. More smooth. And I always like to put it on maximum. Compressor is a really powerful tool and it can be used for a lot of things. But for our purpose here today, we only need a small bit of compression, just enough to make the sound effects pop. So I will turn ratio way down, to something like 1.5. And the threshold I'll pull back a little. First of all because we have a very soft team, and the second because I want to give a little room for our sound effects to really cut through. So let's leave it at 20 below. And now let's have a listen and hear what's changed. Ok, so I think I want a little more compression, let's put it up to 2 and have another listen. Notice here in gain reduction it shows you how much it compresses the music. As you can see for those smaller, more quieter sound effects it doesn't really do much compression. That's why we need to pull our threshold even further back. Let's go to something like minus 20, 26. Ok, I like this much better now. But I can hear another problem. When the compression turns off, the jump back to normal volume is very sudden. And you can really notice it with loud sound effects like this flamethrower sound here. Right here. But luckily this is an easy fix. We just need to tell the compressor to let go of the music track gradually when there is no signal coming in through the side chain. And this is controlled with the release knob right here. So 500 milliseconds is half a second. For quick edits like this it should be good. If you use side chain for audio ducking to push voice over above music for a YouTube video for example I would recommend longer release times. Something like 2 seconds or maybe longer. Alright let's give it another go. Ok, now I think it's a little bit overpowering here in the flame section. Let's move our ratio back to let's say 1.6. Still a bit too much compression for my taste. Not, not quite my tempo. Let's do 1.4. Ok, this is where I would park it. As you can see it's a matter of taste really. But at least with this tool you can fine tune and control the balance between music and sound effects and make it so you can clearly hear both. You can hear the music that's powerful and that's driving the edit. But your sound effects don't get muddled by music, don't drown in it. They really cut through the mix. And that's exactly what I want to hear. So if you haven't been using side chains and compressors in your work I hope you found this little tutorial right here helpful in some way. And that's all I got for today, check out the completed video and I'll see you around the tubes. Rock and roll.